Hey guys, what's up? It's Rygar the Destroyer, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Stormtrooper from the Star Wars 6 Inch Black Series Amazon exclusive 4 pack. Uh, this guy, he's, he's alright, uh, but before we take a closer look at him, let's go ahead and take a look at his packaging. So here it is. Um, I'm sure if you're watching this review, you've probably seen my other ones. So it does open up here on the side, and the figures are displayed in here like this. Here is his little slot there. Picture of the Stormtrooper down at the bottom. Uh, like I said before, I think this packaging is really cool. And if you wanted to keep it in the packaging, I think it would look pretty neat on a shelf. But we're not here to talk about packaging, so let's go ahead and take a look at the figure itself. So here he is. He stands... Let's see here, six inches tall, so he's right in scale with all of the other Star Wars six inch black series. And uh, he's basically the same uh, Stormtrooper as this one here that they released earlier, except he's got these really horribly done blaster, like I guess they're like burns or, or marks on his armor. Um, I don't know why they felt the need to do that. I think the figure is really, was you know it was really good from the first time I saw it and they just decided to I don't know kinda ruin it a little bit it's not horrible but I wish they hadn't have done it I would have preferred just a white stormtrooper I think uh, as far as accessories go they did do a really nice job uh, here it is there's the, the blaster here they actually did some paint detail and some dry brushing so these accessories look really nice and his second one here they just did the dry brushing, but it looks really nice. The detail on this is very well done. So I'm glad they did that. And both of them fit in his hands, of course. As far as the figure's articulation goes, it's good, just like the first one. He's got a ball peg in the head, and then a hinge in the neck there, so he gets a great range of motion in the neck. He's got ball hinge shoulders. They don't go up the, the most. They're okay but I wish they could go up a little more. They do swivel 360. He's got a uh, bicep swivel, double jointed elbow, which gives him a really nice range of motion. He's got ball hinged wrists, and on this hand, the hinge runs vertically through the hand. It's a little stiff, there we go. And then on this hand, it runs horizontally, of course. He's got a double ball peg in the torso, which is ratcheted. Uh, it's Really stiff, it'll stay in place where you put it, which is nice, and it does give a really nice range of motion. He's got T-jointed hips, and even with his belt, you do get a pretty nice range of motion with them. You can get some posing done with those. Double-jointed knees that work you know, wonderfully, and then hinged ankles with the ankle rocker. So all of the articulation from the other figure, or the original figure, is retained. Um, it's the same as the original figure, exactly, ex aside from the uh, paint job. So, as far as tracking this figure down individually, I say don't. Go for the, <laughs> go for the original one. I think it's, it's better because it doesn't have these poorly, you know, poorly designed blaster marks on him. Uh, but he's not a horrible figure. Uh, as far as the pack as a whole goes, I say it's definitely worth picking up. Like, don't let this guy, you know, deter you from buying the pack. Because overall, it is uh, very well done. Uh, if you have any comments or questions about this figure, please leave them down in the comments section below. And I guess I'll see you later.